Georgians are also electing a senator for a full six-year term. Republican Senator David Perdue is trying to hold on to the seat he won in 2014. He is facing Democratic challenger John Ossoff. Naima Abdullahi is here with a closer look at this Senate showdown. Naima. Cheryl, intense is an understatement to describe the race between David Perdue and his Democratic rival, John Ossoff. Both have been going back and forth long before the debates they've been debating. And if there's one thing both men have in common, it's that neither of them are backing down. Two men divided. This work is so important. Can we take that? and run the score up. David Perdue relying on his years of experience with major corporations as a businessman and as a sitting U.S. Senator. This race is bigger than me. It's bigger than John Ossoff. John Ossoff, who has never held public office, saying it's time for new energy and fresh leadership, fiercely challenging Purdue's bid for a second term. I'm running in the closest Senate race in the country against incumbent Republican David Perdue. This is one of the most competitive Senate races in the country. These closely watched races are getting national attention as Democrats hope to capture the Senate majority for the first time since 2015 and both parties battle for control of the White House. We can't take another four years of Donald Trump. If you wanted a different result, you had to send a different kind of person to Washington. With Georgia now considered a battleground state, the polls are too close to call and the stakes are too high because of how much both Trump and Biden's campaigns have been investing into Georgia. Late last week, the heated back and forth, an example of how intense the race is getting. John Ossoff will say anything to hide his radical socialist agenda. Senator Perdue, look up from your notes and answer the question. And just days later, Perdue backed out of the final debate with Ossoff, calling him radical and lying to Georgians, Ossoff calling Perdue a crook, among other words, and it's quite possible we're in for more. He would be nothing but a rubber stamp for Chuck Schumer. You've continued to demean yourself throughout this campaign. Ossoff, the CEO of a documentary film company, rose to political prominence in 2017 when he ran against Karen Handel to fill Georgia's sixth congressional district race. Handel won that tight race in a runoff election. Purdue is endorsed by President Donald Trump and has been joining him at campaign rallies to build up momentum for his efforts in this tight re-election. And there is a third candidate running against Purdue and Ossoff, libertarian Shane Hazel, who has remained optimistic all along. Now, um, if there is a runoff in this race, meaning no candidate gets more than 50 percent, uh, the special election is set for January 5th. All right, Naima, thanks so much.